Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you fast way to cut out hair from background. Not just fast way, the fastest way to cut out hair from background. One minute, two minutes, we are done. No, not joking. This is Twisted Creative. I like Manu is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So here is a Photoshop and uh, here is the image we are going to be using for this illustration. And um, once you come to this uh, left side, you will see the tools and we are going to be using this background eraser tool. But this background eraser tool, in case you, you can't find it there, just right click and uh, you check the drop down, you will see eraser tool, background eraser tool then magic eraser tool. Now, this time around, we're going to be using background eraser tool, which is at the middle here. Then if we've selected that background eraser tool, we are going to the next setting, which is going to take us up here. Um, like as you can see, there are eyedroppers here and these eyedroppers, uh, they represent one, uh, this double eyedropper represents sampling continuous then this middle ones this middle eyedropper is uh, sampling once and the last one is um, sampling background swatch then we are what we're going to be doing is we are going to use this sampling once then after making this selection making selection selecting the middle eyedropper which is um, uh, is, uh, this with symbol of uh, one eyedropper, then we are going to go to the limit here. The limit here, we have to make selection. Like as you can see, it is, um, we can find the find edge here. But once you check the drop down here, you will see this contiguous, contiguous and uh, find edge. So we are going to be using this contiguous. So, the next thing we are going to be looking at now is the tolerance. Tolerance, as you can see, we have 4% tolerance here. So what is the tolerance going to be used for? Okay, let's see. Then uh, let's just say, let's start by taking this picture to a page I've created before, which is um, here. I have to fit it to the page. Then as you can see, if you check this, the right side of the uh, Photoshop, uh, you can see uh, I have some colors here, which we are going to be using for backgrounds. So let's get started. So what we are going to do now is uh, we'll take our background eraser tool and uh, as you can see, you can see this uh, circle of, uh, as in the brush, you see circle and a target mark in the middle. This target mark in the middle represents your sampling. So wherever this sampling, uh, with wherever this target is, is what you are sampling. So once you click and hold, that means you are holding the sample. Then you have to wipe around wherever you want to remove and whichever color you want to remove. Once you sample a particular color, then if you wipe, it's going to be wiping up the entire color. But let me say, if I select the skin tone now and start wiping, you see what happened there. Then now, and we are not going to wipe a uh, skin tone. Then we are going to wipe background, which is, as you can see, why it did not remove the entire skin is that where I sample was a kind of a little bit dark and maybe reddish. It removed just the color that was there, which you can find in here in this blue area because you can see it's the first background here if we change the background now you see it changing that is the area i've wiped i just wiped so i'm going to take this back so that it's not going to disturb our work so what we are going to be doing is um we have to wipe background like if i say let me just click this white and wipe you can see that the white area 
the brilliant part of all the area I selected is active, as in is the kind of the brush is active, removing the particular color, leaving the dark side of the white. So what we are going to be doing here is um, we are going to be checking the tolerance. Let me take it back. So the tolerance, we are going to be checking the tolerance because the tolerance is where you, the tolerance is the most interesting and the most complex part of the settings after getting those discontinuous and then uh, sampling ones. So this tolerance is very, very uh, a kind of sensitive. Let's say, like as this by four, let's start by checking it bit by bit. So we are going to be changing this value, this percentage uh, tolerance uh, percentage here. Yeah, we're going to be changing it gradually so that we we'll see the difference that it's going to make. Now I'm going to set this at uh, let's say twenty percent. Or let's say, let's start with, um, let's say 10%. So we are going to use this 10% and see what the 10% will be able to give us. Like, let's start again. I uh, say, uh, let me take the target as this area and it's white. Or let's say gray color. Uh, I don't know. Let's say, let's take a sample. I left click and I hold. So I'm taking it around the hair area which I want to remove the background. So if you take a look at this now, you'll see, notice that it's, it's trying to do something. It's up to something, but what we are doing now is we, we really need it to be clean. So what we are going to do now, it's like, as you can see, the 10% is not good enough to remove the background completely. So what we're going to do is adjust it to 20%, just type in 20% and say okay so we have 20 percent at the tolerance let's select uh, let's take white as sample and wipe <laughs> and as you can see it's coming up gradually it's coming up because if you check take a look at the first the first position if you take a look at this area you notice that this area is better than this area in terms of seeing the background through the hair all right let's go to 30 gradually you said 30 and enter then we are going to be sampling here and wipe around wow it's becoming great so that is 30 what if we we'll take it to like 50 for instance so that will not waste much time let's say 50 i'm going to click here and sample and hold it with my right uh, left click and wipe it's better than before then let's say let's just say like 60 let's say 61 okay let me just take a sample here and do the wiping it seems this place this place seems to be the cleanest all right let's just try 70 or let's say 80. We we'll sample with right click and we'll wipe. As you can see, the hair is becoming transparent because the background is like it's coming out. It's like the hair is uh, the opacity of the hair is being removed, uh, reduced. So that's not actually what we want here. That means if we even take it to 100, let's try 100. Look at what is happening. It's even wiping the entire hair, which is not our plan. So if you take a look at the entire image, you know that this area seems to be the best area, which was 60 or 61 thereabouts. So right now I'm going to take this thing back to 60 or 61. Let's say 62 is still okay. Um, there's something we have to... Uh, let know you know like as you are doing this now let's revise let's revise let's revise take it back yeah this is it so we have to the, the one thing i have to, uh, I, I want you to bear in mind that whichever setting you make now 
is the setting that is going to be opening for you in Photoshop in terms of this aspect. So once you make your selection and you know uh, you selected this middle and this uh, limit, uh, this contiguous and your tolerance 62, it will remain there. But that does not mean you, that you should continue using this 62 because the your images, the size of your images varies. Because if you have the, the, the size of uh, image size of like 3 megabytes and one of 20 megabytes, it's not going to be the same. So you have to check your sliders and check uh, your percentage and see what is good for your image. All right, let's go. So right now, we are going to be doing it. That's why I said it's very, very fast. It's the fastest way to remove cut out hair from background. It's very, very fast in the sense that if you set, if you make all these settings down, and you want to do something like this all you just have to do is just click a position and make your selection like this then you are good to go but mind you you are not going to take it into the hair because there are some white on the hair which brings sparkling and reflecting on the hair which is very very good so if you don't have to take it inside the hair so that you don't wipe them off so here is it, this is what I just did. And you can see that um, it's almost done. If not for the fact, we have to select, make selection and um, wipe some area and make uh, some sensitive area that we don't have to involve the skin. So that is it. Is it not great? So we are going to be doing this thing gradually. <laughs> just imagine, just within few seconds look at what we have here so that is why it's called the fastest way to cut out hair then let's say okay if we say let's take it um, gradually like at its was let's say let's just start and take it gradually what we are going to be doing is just click and then brush out the hair so this is a brush and this is the hair what we're going to do is just click and brush around the area that the background, the area where the background is visible. And you know they are the same color, the same color of background. But once you are dealing with different color of background, that means you have to be making your selection, making your, uh, making your sampling always, because if you Maybe eventually you meet another color of background somewhere around this area. You just have to change your sampling. Like, let's say like you meet another color here, you change your sample. But mind you, it must not be the same color with the hair. All right, let's go. Let's go. As you can see, the job is going. So if you take a look at this now, you know that it's very fast, very, very fast. It's very, very fast. Very, very fast and a very good way. It's very, very good for any background. But most times it's, it's advisable for you to use your background on the the image on the background that you are you want to put not after cleaning you go and uh, bring in background it's going to look different so you have to make sure you have your background down so that you'll be seeing what exactly what you are doing so as you can set your tolerance the way you want it so as you can see i made selection with lasso tool so as not to to um, allow the brush get to the skin directly. I fed that with four. So I'm continuing the wiping to make it easy. So you can see what's happened here. Then the rest part of this, um, the rest part of this background has to be wiped off. Though I'm in a rush anyway, 
But if you are trying to do something like this, you can can take your time. You can just take your time and do something great. It's just an illustration. So as you can see, we are almost done. If you take a look at this now, you notice that it's very, very fast. It's very, very fast. So look at what we got here. <laughs> the, the hair has been cut out within seconds. So like if we want to try something out, like, okay, let's zoom in and see if there is an error somewhere. So just take a look, take a look. Nothing is added and nothing is removed. So this hair is just like perfect hair. So if you want to put any background, you can just go ahead and say, let's see what purple is going to look like. Look at it on purple. Then look at it on pink or red. I don't know what you call it. Then look at it on cyan. Then um, look at it on brown. So here we are. So if you take a look at this now, you know that a great job has been done here. Yes, that is it for today's video. If you find it interesting, please hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not done that before. And also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people will keep on creating. Just stay creative. See you in the next video. Bye.